Good morning to one and all. All are welcome to our online class. Hope that you all are fine. Due to this pandemic condition, we are compelled to stay at our home for our safety. But academic session must go on. For that, we started online class. I think most of you are not familiar with this online class, isn't it? But don't be panic. We all are with you. But kindly cooperate with us. Is it okay? I think there is no need of introduction about me and my subject, isn't it? So let's move on to our first chapter that is force and pressure. What is it? Force and pressure. In 7th standard, we learn the difference between rest and motion. When an object is said to be at rest, an object is said to be at rest if it doesn't change its position with respect to time. When an object is said to be in motion, if it changes its position with respect to time. Am I right? Then how we can change an, an object which is at a state of rest or motion or how we can change an object's direction. Then we want to give some push or pull. That is when an object is at rest, if we are giving a push or pull, it started motion. That is here comes the term that is force. What is force? A push or pull on an object is called force. What is force? A push or pull on an object is called force. What is force? What happens when a force is applied to an object? While pushing, pulling, lifting or hitting anything, we are actually changing the motion of an object. This change in motion requires force. So we can say that a push or a pull on an object resulting in its motion is called a force. A force is a push or pull on an object. The next term we want to learn is net force. What is net force? If two or more forces are acting on the same object, then the net force is sum of all these forces. If two or more forces are acting on the same object, then the net force is sum of all these forces. So here I am placing an object and ask two persons to give a push. Suppose it is A and B. So this is a heavy object and here two persons are there A and B. Both of them are giving a force in the same direction. Then what is net force? Sum of these forces that is force of A plus force of B. That means if these two persons are giving the force in the same direction, then we want to just add that force for calculating the net force. If this A and B are in the opposite direction, A and A is here and B is here, and they are giving force here, these forces are in the opposite direction. So here, the net force is A plus this direction is opposite. So, A plus minus B because the direction is, the B's direction is the opposite direction. That means the net force is A minus B. From this, we can say that if the forces are in the same direction, there the net forces just add that all forces. And if the, it is in the opposite direction, there we want to subtract. Here again, I am placing an object and ask A and B to give a force which is in opposite direction. But here, there is no change in position. Or we can say that this box is in stationary or at rest. Why? Because this A and B, they are giving same amount of force. In this case, we can say that it is a balanced force. What is it? It is a balanced force. Then what is a balanced force? If these two forces acting from the opposite direction are equal in magnitude, then we can say that it is a balanced force. The two forces or the forces acting in the opposite direction are equal in magnitude. We can say that it is a balanced force. Is it clear? Then when we are expressing a force, 
we want to write its magnitude and its direction what is magnitude magnitude means the amount or the quantity that is magnitude and we want to specify the direction why you want to specify the direction because the force depends upon what direction when we are calculating the net force sometimes we are subtracting the force sometimes we are adding the force because it depends upon direction so when we are writing the force or we are expressing a force we want to write its magnitude and we want to specify its direction is it clear force may be balanced force or unbalanced force then what is the difference between this balanced force and unbalanced force for balanced force net force is always zero what is it for balanced force the net force is always zero why because the equal amounts of forces are applied from the both sides so the net force is zero for unbalanced force it never be zero for unbalanced force the net force never be zero then for balanced force this forces are acting on the opposite direction but for unbalanced force this forces may be in the same direction or it may be in the opposite direction an example for balanced force that is in the tug of war in the play of tug of war sometimes this rock remains in the position of rest why because this two teams are giving equal amount of force is it clear Our next topic is effects of force. Suppose here there is a ball which is at state of rest. If anyone hit that ball, it starts motion. From that we can say that a force can change its state of rest. what is it a force can change its state of rest we can stop this moving ball by applying a force from that we can say that a force can change its state of motion so what are the two points the first point is a force can change state of rest second one is a force can change its state of motion for a moving body if you are applying a force in the same direction we can change its or we can increase its speed if you are giving the force in the opposite direction we can decrease its speed from that we can say that a force can increase its speed or decrease its speed or we can say that a force can change its speed so by applying a force we can change size and shape of an object so we can say that force can change size and shape of an object for a moving body we can change the direction by applying a force so from this all we can conclude that the effects of force are first one the force can change state of rest then force can change state of motion and a force can change speed of the object and a force can change direction of motion and a force can change shape and size of the object this so once again what are the effects of force the first one is force can change state of rest then a force can change state of motion a force can change speed of the object then it can change direction of motion and it can change shape and size of the object consider a thin rubber balloon and blow air into it the shape changes then tie its open end with a thread now press the air filled balloon you will see again the shape changes this is due to effect of force when you play football the football is kept in the center of the field when you kick it it moves towards the given direction similarly in the kitchen your mother makes balls from dough and rolls them into chapatis In this case she is applying force to make them flat effects of force one can change the direction of the object by applying suitable force on it for example in cricket 
the speed of the ball hit by a batsman reduces to zero when the fielder catches it. Also, if you kick a moving football, the speed of the football increases. So, we can recollect what we have learned today. That is, first we learned about force. What is a force? A push or pull on an object is called force. What is force? A push or pull on an object is called force. Then we learned about net force. What is net force? The sum of all forces acting on the same object is called net force. Uh, then the net force, for if the forces are acting on the opposite direction, then the net force, that for calculating the net force, we want to subtract this force. And for, uh, for the forces in the same direction, uh, for calculating net force, we want to add this all force. Then we learned about balanced force and unbalanced force. What is balanced force? The ba for balanced force, the net force is always zero. And it is acting from the opposite direction. And for unbalanced force, the net force never be zero. And it is acting on the same direction or it may be from the opposite direction. Then we learned about effects of force. This is all of the effects of force. So let's wind up the class. See you in the next class. Thank you.